What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with our next war recap video. And this was a fun war, uh, better than most for sure, against Thai Freedom. They, it wasn't the, uh, it wasn't like this nail biter, but they brought all their attacks. They, you know, they, they tried, we'll go through the, uh, our bases since they did uh, do all their attacks, we'll give them that respect. Uh, did pretty good on our, you know, just our top few Town Hall 10s, they couldn't two star. And the, the Town Hall 9s, they, you know, it was the same story. They couldn't, they couldn't get the three star, but they brought, you know, solid attacks. They tried. Uh, then when it got down to our Town Hall 8s, obviously got the three stars there. Uh, we did real well. Everything got two starred um, Town Hall 9 wise, one three star, or excuse me, Town Hall 10 wise, one three star. And then, and they had a, a pretty large uh, Town Hall 10 advantage. That's what kept it a little closer. Uh, then everything, of course, Town Hall 9 and below, we, we three stars. So really good job to everybody at One Hive. Uh, just, you know, did solid attacks all the way around. And we've got several to show you guys. So let's get right to that. Uh, the first one I want to show is, let's see, let's show, let's show Rex's three star. He is just, Rex is on fire lately. And he's got this, uh, this three star Lalunian uh, attack. He's, he's really getting good at it. So it's fun to watch. Uh, Golem goes down there, just backs it up by wizards. The queen right there behind it. Uh, the goal here is obviously to get penetrated in there, get the uh, archer queen dead, and get an air defense taken care of. Uh, so they sends the golem in just to tank, and then you know backing it up with his with his troops. Uh, King goes down. Now he's going to lock onto the queen here in just a moment, and boom, there he goes. He's going to try to take her out. Oops, actually, sorry about that. He went onto the storage first. Now he'll get on that queen. Uh, and take her out and then the queen is right behind it locked onto that storage but as soon as that goes down the air defense will be your next target uh, after she takes care of a few of these uh, CC troops uh, lightning goes down to help her out there and then as that ends uh, the, obviously she takes out the air defense now here comes the Lalunian attack uh, the lava hounds coming in first just followed by some balloons hits them with a rage spell nice freeze there uh, and then you'll see always in this clockwise or counterclockwise motion uh, that's the way to do this it helps them uh, force your balloons to the core and doesn't let them just wrap around the base sort of like a, a hog ring base is designed to do uh, really nice freeze on the back end there you'll see that most of the uh, most of the uh, balloons are are bunched up here but only one uh, only one uh, wizard tower left and they're a little ways away from that so uh, nothing's really going to take them out there's too many of them left and the uh, lava hounds are doing most of the tanking still at this point over on that last uh, on that last air defense right there uh, one of them goes down which actually is going to help the cause uh, get a few more troops for cleanup and a few more distractions to keep the balloons from getting wiped out uh, right there boom the last air defense goes down and hopefully right there, this expo is going to help him out and bust that last Lava Hound for him. Boom. Uh, give him a few more cleanup troops. Uh, but the balloon sort of went the wrong direction. Wish they would have went straight towards that, uh, towards that expo. It took out probably six or eight of the Lava Pups before uh, the balloon got back around to it and took it out. But you'll see the top part of this base is just wrecked. He drops a few minions uh, to, up top to help out with that. And then we'll fast forward as the last defense, this Tesla pops, and the balloons take care of it just in time. Really, if had that uh, crash of that last balloon not taken out the uh, that Tesla, it would have been a two-star. But a very, very nice three-star attack by Rex. Really enjoyed watching it. All right, let's see. We got one that was awesome. I love this attack. J-Mass was so close. I mean, it was like... It was just right there. He had it. Uh, really, in my opinion, uh, the clan castle kills what cost him the three star. Drops a giant here. Everything's going great. Uh, CC empties out. But this is what I hate about the balloon drop technique. Uh, either I think lightning or bring an actual kill squad because it's just when you've got witches in there, it's they're all moving at different speeds. It's hard to get them bunched up. Then once you do, it's hard to get them, you know, the, the balloon kill doesn't always go perfectly. Uh, especially when you're doing it like this here with, with defensive troops are in range. They take out your barge before the, the enemy troops move uh, as much as you, as you want them to. It's just difficult. So you see he's out of barge, but it's not perfectly bunched up. Does a really nice job on the balloon and backs it up immediately with minions, which is cool. But now you see he's here. He's already lost three or so minions. Here's his second balloon, and there's his fourth uh, minion now the witch is down which is the most important thing but he still has a wizard up and a few skeletons so again just um, you know a lot of time right here and a lot of troops that uh, that could have probably been prevented had he just brought a, a lightning or something like that so again the more the more and more I watch this the more and more I see it I'm just not a fan of the 
uh, of the balloon kill technique. It just can it can cost you the star, which I think it did for JMS here because everything else was was beautiful and perfect. Uh, Golem goes down, wall breakers lets him in. Uh, the king has kind of gets distracted, has to focus on some of those CC troops, but that's okay. The queen goes down. Uh, the archer tower is in there taking out the uh, def air defense. So uh, queen dead, one air defense dead. Just awesome job on that. And then here comes the lava hounds, the balloons to back him up, dropping rages, just pushing them straight to the core, getting to that Inferno Tower. And I like the restraint of JMAS here of not uh, freezing the, the front Inferno Tower, the ones that was actually hitting his balloons, saving it for that back one, giving his balloons time to catch up, to get to it, and even refreezing it again. Just beautiful. That, that right there was awesome. It made it to where his balloons actually had a chance to get through the base to wipe out what's left of it. And a nice heel placement there. While the uh, the wizard tower is taking out uh, is, is shooting at those balloons that are all clumped up at that point, had a nice heal for him. So that was beautiful. Everything was great. You'll see right here the balloons are going to work around to the last few defenses, uh, but he just didn't quite have enough cleanup troops. He's got his queen working. He's got a few minions working. A few lava pups that are left over, uh, but the uh, the time just is going to catch up with him. Is going to run out and not quite get it done. I think had he had those you know four or five. Uh, Minions that he used for the kill squad uh, probably would have got the three star, but a uh, really, really nice attack, Jake Mass. I like watching it. Let's see here. What are we going to look at next? Let's look at Geo. Geo is a relatively new member to 1.0. Uh, taking on 21. Let's check this out. I like this attack. Um, you know, a good. I don't even know if it, I think this is a, probably a foreign base. I'm not sure if it is or not. Uh, but a good uh, a base for what for what he brings here. Dropping his golems down, nice spread on them. Uh, one, two, three, the whole, that whole side of the base is protecting, uh, the golems are soaking up all the damage. Just follows them up with wizards, witches, all that good stuff. Heroes go down, uh, going right to the core. So just a, basically a straight go wee wee, except for that he's got four loans on the back end, which is really nice. But look at these nice big compartments. Uh, the, the moat around the core is almost completely, you know, there's only one uh, break in the whole thing, so the golems can really get in there and just move through it, uh, tank for the defenses so that, that wizards can back them up, the heroes can back them up, and, and just take out defense after defense. Uh, I really liked how he got this uh, golem at the bottom there into that side compartment. Uh, that was a good place for it, so that was that was great. Uh, again, those wizards are not being touched. They're able to just shoot over the walls, take out the defenses. Uh, these golems up top, look at the wizards up there. None of them are getting touched because of those golems doing all the tanking. Uh, the queen's backing them up. They're just wrecking that part of the base. And then the golem goes into the core uh, to tank for that. And then right here, these back end loons. Uh, just, you know, those are the, the, the areas that they're going to have to bust walls to get to, so that's where Geo sends the balloons to. Perfect. Uh, just a great attack, and then as you can see here, we'll start to fast forward. It, everything is closing in on what's left there, and uh, not much to stop what uh, what troops uh, Geo has left at the end here. So great attack, Geo! Just uh, just wrecked that base. I really like seeing it. it was something that we don't see as much anymore, uh, but a base that really called for it and and was executed perfectly. So good job. All right, let's look at one more. Okay, one more here. I forgot this one. We'll scroll back up. Uh, this war, as I said earlier. Uh, and, and not just uh, Raisin, which we're going to look at now, but several of our Town Hall 9s stepped up. We were way outnumbered in Town Hall 10, so Town Hall 9s had to step up and do it. And they were not uh, weak bases. They all had Inferno Towers. And so props to all the Town Hall 9s that stepped up and did it. Raisin went all the way to the top and did it on this very high-level base, uh, basically a max uh, base with lava walls and all. So really impressive. Uh, just immediately, no lure, drops the golems, just spreading wizards, witches, all that right in behind, dropping king and queen, uh, giving them a nice rage with those wall breakers, helping them in, a lightning on the CC troops to help, uh, you know, not slow her troops down too much. Uh, just keeping them rage, keeping them working towards that core. And you'll see that she's even got some stuff she's held back here, a couple balloons, minions, archers, so not even sh shooting her whole wall, which was smart. Uh, the queen coming in, doing a lot of work from behind the scenes, just boom, 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 shoot. She got that beefy level queen, uh, level 30 queen, uh, taking out a lot of, of buildings here. The, the uh, town hall already down, and now uh, the, just trying to get percentage points at this point. Her queen is now finally being targeted, uh, so she'll use the ability right there, get a few more in the middle, and you'll see she's so close to it already. Uh, a few balloons are going to go down here at the bottom, take out that archer tower to where if she needed to put a minion down there, she's got a lot of room, a lot of percentage points she could get to. So just a real well 
uh, thought out, real well planned out attack and getting the two star uh, when you know we were short on Town Hall 10 attacks. So we needed some help with that. She, uh, you see here, she's already well over 50% getting the two star. So really nice job uh, raising. And to, again, all the Town Hall nines that stepped up and helped out with the, uh, the mismatch on Town Hall 10s. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. I'll try to get some more out for you guys, uh, have you some good content to watch while you're being lazy on Saturday and Sunday. Until next time, Jake from One High, doing my best to help you guys suck less.